Hey guys, Clint Shireman here with the Knopf Academy with another air leakage pathway and a tiny mock-up. This time we have a garage common wall. We have ceiling trusses or floor joists running over the wall, uh, our actual wall uh, studs here. This side's condition space, this side is the garage. So the common problems that I see, this is a big leakage point because the wall is never backed when the air sealing crew comes to do their work. So the only thing they can really seal is the bottom plate to the subfloor unless they have some sort of gasket product to outline the wall. So that way when the sheathing goes on, uh, the wall will be sealed and compress that gasket. The other issue is if it's not sealed with a gasket, if there's no sheathing here already, when the drywall goes onto it, it tends to um, uh, pucker around the screws, creating little voids where air can leak through from the garage side in or the house side out. The other issue is this actual uh, rim joist area. Again, if, if my hand can fit through it, it's a pretty big hole, right? So uh, an easy solution might be to have uh, the wall framed. If, if we're building with two by fours, frame this wall in particular with two by six, run two separate joists on top and sandwich a piece of OSB or plywood or something in between the two uh, to create a seal. Or if we have access to it, we might use a piece of insulation board or duct board uh, something easy to cut, we can work with quickly, stick in this space, and then seal the facing side of this material to create an air barrier and uh, separate the house from the garage.